the start of the third quarter and North Melbourne in a very handy position. It'll be Gary Dempsey against Barry Round again. Dempsey gets the knockout. Ball comes back to Jackson, punched on by Round. Finally kicked up by Lucas, a very high one. Going for the punch there is Glenn Dinning. Back it goes to Shimmerbush, taps the ball back there towards centre half uh, back. And it's Braddy going down with a hand pass now over to uh, Round. Finally back to Demetrio, a high kick back towards uh, the centre of the ground. And hitting the deck now, it finally comes out to Kelly. He fumbles, plenty of fumbling going on by both sides at the moment. And that's a nice safe mark taken there by Danaher. Quickly plays on, actually put himself off balance that time as the ball goes out wide. Nicely picked up that time by Dents. Dents gets his boot out there to Aberdeen. That's a fine mark in defence at half back. North Melbourne still looking all right as the ball finally goes out there. A short pass by Kelly. It'll be OK. And there's the dominating player in attack for North Melbourne, McCann. That's a high kick up there towards the full forward position. And Good's got his hands but couldn't juggle the mark. Now it's Jonas knocking the ball over to Phil Cracker. Phil Cracker gets clear, gives a hand pass back to uh, Jimmy. A long one. Good comes in. Not giving much resist that uh, attack, uh, the defence of uh, the Swans and finally through for one point. So... Uh, North Melbourne move on to 12 goals, 13-85, to the Swans, four goals, 8-32. Uh, Difference of 53 points. Well, Mark missed by Carter down there, but the umpire has found a push-out, and it will be the kick going to who? Dimitriou. So Andy Dimitriou from left half forward. In towards the goal square, Jonas was the flyer, Winbanks has the mark, and the umpire has found a free kick in the meantime going to Carter. I must admit, Carter has, uh, again, tried his heart out down there. And, uh, and plenty of work, though, Bob. Even though Good has kicked two goals, it hasn't, it's been no fault of Rod Carter's. Greg, Dimitriou, Jonas gets the bounce over towards Fury. More than useful, Bob. Roberts is chasing him, but he fires at goals and has put it through for one behind. So that takes the scoreboard now along to 12-14, 86 to 4-8-32, a deficit of 54 points, and still North Melbourne doing all the attacking in this, the early stages of the third quarter. Dempsey and Danaher waiting at the back as the dual Brownlow medalist Keith Gregg has grabbed when not in position, and umpire John Morgan has no hesitation in paying him the free kick. North Melbourne looking a very classy combination at the moment. All their name players are firing. Winbanks goes the punch, gets it down to Stevie Wright. Back towards left centre wing. Danaher will get there first. No, he won't. Ramsey does. Coming out as Kelly. To Hodgman. To Ramsey. 30 metre handball to Schimmelbush on the run from half forward. Puts in the little short pass to Jonas. Jonas fires at goal from the pocket. And it goes across for one behind. So that takes North Melbourne to 12 goals, 15. 87 to 4, 8, 32. North Melbourne peppering the goals to add three behinds in this quarter, and the Swans get to score. Well, there's no doubt uh, North Melbourne off to a good start again. They've been into attack from the start of this third quarter. The ball back there towards McCann and Jackson. Finally off the pack to Demetrio. A hand pass coming back there to Phil Crack. He'll give it back to Demetrio again. He's been a fine player too. Now there's a chance for Jimmy Cracker. Fumbles. Gets one in the back, actually. He's got plenty of time to recover. That's how bad this uh, defence of uh, the Swans is going. Picked up by Hyde for the snap for goal. Not a bad sort of a kick. I think he may have put it through for one point. But now it's a goal. Oh. Now I'm for... Well, there we see the ball still on North Melbourne's half forward line. 13, 15, 93 North to the Swans, 4, 8, 32. And they're certainly peppering the goals again. There's a 15 metre penalty to uh, Jimmy Cracker. He's only about uh, 30 metres out from goal directly in front now and yet to kick a goal. There's the kick by uh, Jimmy Cracker. And there's no worries about that. That's another goal to uh, North Melbourne. That defence is shocking down there at the moment, Bob, because they're just doing as they like that attack of North Melbourne's. There's obviously a lack of uh, talking because uh, Cruz not realising that uh, he you know, was about to be tackled and uh, players around do call then there's an opportunity for a player to quickly get rid of the ball uh, but uh, like most of the uh, Swan players uh, Cruz looked very lethargic uh, you know in his movement there um, you know it's just very hard to work out 99 to 32 is the scoreboard it's a runaway win coming up for North Melbourne 
unless the trend changes and it's hard to see it doing that ball comes out of the center from lucas glenn dinning fist it down Take it away by Evans. He's been fairly quiet this afternoon. Up toward full forward for the Swans. Baker has to punch it away from Dench. Kept in play by Hounsell. Or was it out of bounds? No. The crowd don't appreciate Hounsell's efforts. Or the uh, decision of the umpire, I should say. They appreciated his efforts, but it wasn't good enough. Make up your own mind as we see the replay. Hounsell was certainly out. Was the ball. Very close. Very hard to judge. It certainly was. But the boundary umpire should have been in a better position than we were. Law. Ramsey. Dimitriou on to Schimmelbush. And Melbourne's handball generally all day has been pretty good. Law. And over the head of both crackers. Good couldn't take the mark either. Carter tries to get it out to Roberts. Not successful. And umpire Morgan will ball it up in the forward pocket for North Melbourne. And about uh, 25 metres from goal. Knocked away by Fury, I think, that time. Baker takes the handball over towards Ackerley. Underneath it, Gary Dempsey. Couldn't take the mark. Knock on by Danaher. Picked up by David Dench. What's he doing up there? Up towards centre field, Kelly. And a very good match, Kelly. So too is this guy. He started off uh, with about five kicks in ten minutes in the first quarter. Dimitriou over towards Abernethy. Up towards full forward. It's out of bounds on the full. And the penalty kick will be going to the Swans to be taken down there by Rod Carter. And Carter has certainly tried all day. He's had plenty of work down there, of course, in that position. Dempsey tries to knock it forward. Abernethy gives it over to Kelly. He scoots it out to Cracker. Phil Cracker's high kick in towards the goal square. And finds his brother. It was about a foot taller than Winbanks and got in good position to take the mark. Jimmy Cracker has kicked one goal. He kicked that earlier in this quarter and has a chance to make it two and North Melbourne's third for the term. They started the quarter at 12-12. The Swans haven't added to their total. And Jimmy Cracker brings up two flags. What a fan. Eight and a half minutes gone of the third quarter. 15-15 North. To the Swans, uh, four goals, eight. The ball back out there to North Melbourne's half-forward line. Picked up by Roberts, one of their few good players today. And they haven't got many, believe you me, as the ball goes out of bounds on the full. And it'll be a free kick to Kelly out there on the centre wing position. Ricky Quaid looking a pretty disgusted sort of a coach. And so he should be. It's a pathetic performance by the Swans at the moment. And there's a good mark taken by Cracker. That's Phil Cracker with the ball out there at uh, half forward both crackers have played fairly well today as the ball goes up there towards the full forward position Cruz couldn't hold that mark he goes after it again his kick is intercepted that time by Demetrio picked up by Scott I don't know where he's playing he's been on the back line all the time on the wing now Luke. on the wing the ball punched out by uh, Law picked up by Danaher a chance now for Lucas to drive the ball well down towards the full forward position but there's David Bench ever reliable taking a great mark over Barrett Brown short pass Finally out to Greg. Look at this. Both these players are unattended out there. Kelly and uh, Ramsey. No one within Cooey. They can do as they like as they get the ball down there to McCann. Now it's Jonas. Back to Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush coming in to meet it now in the forward pocket. Got one in the back. But the umpire said it wasn't right. So it'll be a throw in from that uh, forward pocket position about 30 metres around uh, from the uh, uh, North Melbourne goal. McCann and uh, Baker is now on the ball. Goes for the tap down. Back to uh, Roberts. Back over again to uh, right. Goes for a pass. It's a pretty good one. He's found Danaher there in front of Dempsey out there on the centre wing position. Swans badly needing goals now. And they're hard to come by with Glenn Denning backing up. Well, this defence of North Melbourne looking very good as Ramsey goes for a pass. I don't know who's minding Kelly out there, Bob. Well, Lucas had to come up the ground to meet uh, Keith Gregg, who was going to take the handball. So... The North Melbourne teaming well together. And there we see a change coming off the ground as Lucas and going back on as Carroll. Jackson was it. Jackson was it. Finally picked up by Cracker. A hand pass to Demetrio. A shot for goal. Falls short. A bad fumble by Winbanks. This has given good a chance, but he gets out of trouble. A hand pass back to Roberts. Back to uh, Carter in a bit of trouble too, but finally kicks the ball actually off the side of his boot. But that's a good mark taken here now as we see Scott break clear out there at half back. Go for a pass. But uh, intercepted that time by Rams. This gives Lucas a chance now to kick the ball well down. Now a bad hand pass. And 
fair. They're making mistakes galore at the moment, the Swans. This allows Glenn Denny to get it up. And uh, through uh, Nimmo, they take the ball away very easily indeed from that uh, attacking position for the Swans. Andy Dimitriou keeps the ball in play. Right in front of our camera on the boundary line. Hodgman over towards Jimmy Cracker. Back to Dimitriou with a torpedo punt towards the forward pocket. And a fine mark brought in down there by Carter. Despite his uh, finger problem, marked it OK. Looking for Ackerley. Couldn't take the grab. Knocked on by Law. And Schimmelbush got one in the back, you could argue. That's how the umpire saw it. And then Barry Round now coming off the ground. And coming back on is Steve Torbett. And we haven't seen Round taken off uh, before up here. And this, he's injured, of course. Ball in towards the 10 metre square. Wind banks at the back. Jonas. Umpire says a throw. Repeated Jonas, and it will be a Swans free kick. And it will be taken down there by Carter again. So Carter from the back pocket to get the Swans out of the danger zone momentarily at least. That's a good grab by Baker. Danaher. Glenn Dinning is underneath this, leading Braddy in the race for the ball. Takes it comfortably. He's one of North Melbourne's best, if not the best. Too long for Cracker. Kelly. Oh, that's a fine mark by Kim Hodgman. He started off well in the first quarter and has been very consistent ever since. Let's look at that again. It pays to play in front, doesn't it? So Hodgman about 50 metres out from goal. Might even be a little bit less. He's gone for a short pass. Vernon comes out with it. Got grabbed too high and it will be Vernon's free kick. Brings it around the wing position, trying to find Ackley. Succeeds in doing just that. Ackley draws his opponent to him, but then kicks the ball long up towards right centre wing. Knocked away from Glenn Dinning by Braddy. Pumped further forward by Evans. Loose ball at right half forward for the Swans and picked up out there by Nimmo. Does it well to Abernethy. Evans takes it away from Glenn Dinning. On to Tony Morwood, who's had a horror of a day. Jimmy Cracker to Keith Gregg. This is really classy stuff from North Melbourne. Kelly at right centre wing. Swan's not able to do much right. Law to Phil Cracker. Phil Cracker could almost have a shot from goal uh, from there and instead has found Kerry Good. And that could even be a 15 metre penalty. Umpire Peter Cameron bringing Carter back. It won't make much difference because he's only 15 metres out anyway. Let's look at that again. It is a 15 metre penalty. He's uh, right in the middle of the goal square now. And, of course, he'd have to fall over to miss it. So, Kerry Good, already two goals on the board. The chance for his third, which he will get from five metres out. Three goals to Kerry Good. And it takes North Melbourne further ahead. Fourteen and a half minutes into this uh, third quarter. And North Melbourne still doing it very well. At the moment, there are 111 points to the Swans, 32 points. And that's a dismal score. Ball out there on the wing position. There's Demetria. They seem to have about 36 players out here in North Melbourne. Bit too long that time for Hodgman. In chips uh, Carter, a long hand pass coming out here and out of Lucas, but he's fumbled, but they've all been doing it. Carter had to get the one back again to get him out of trouble, and that kicks okay. And it's a mark taken there by Danaher. Round about the centre field area. A long kick looking for Torbett. Off the top of the pack that time and through for one point. Torbett saying, I didn't touch it. Umpire wasn't having a bar of that, so it's four goals, 9.33. The Swans for North Melbourne, 16, 15, 111. That's their first score of the quarter, Lou. Well, they don't look like scoring the way they're playing. They've been pathetic so far. Dempsey there at the back and takes the mark over Browning. Oh, that's a bad hand pass. And there'll nearly be a free kick to North Melbourne. Yes, going to Kelly. Hey, Kelly, he's been a fine player today, Bob. Particularly this quarter, Lou, he's had a picnic. <laughs> he's been out there on his own. Out to Ramsey. No one there minding him at all. That's a great mark there to Abernathy. And could be a 15-metre penalty against uh, the Swans. But uh, umpire probably feeling a bit sorry for them at the moment. Abernathy's kick is well up there towards the full forward position. Good at the back. He actually pushed Carter a bit that time. In comes Windbanks. His kick is a hurried one out wide, but it's a bad one. He goes straight into the hands of McCann. Well, if I say he's a fine player, he's got about 17 other mates out there because they've all played well for Northern up to this stage of the match and they don't look like going badly from now on as the kick by McCann's a long one but didn't come around enough and it's through for one point 
So the score, 16, 16, 112 uh, North Melbourne to the Swans, four goals, 9.33. And you'd rather say that's uh, nice and quietly because uh, I'm quite sure all the Swans supporters in Melbourne would be terribly disappointed. It goes over the top of Greg and Danaher. This allows Demetrio, playing a great game today, goes for a pass down there to the forward pocket. Cracker in front, couldn't hold the mark, knocked down to Ackley. Sidestep beautifully out of the pack over to Burn at the half back. Vernon's kick is out there towards the wing position. It could go up the Run field because he was knocked out. He kicked at that time by Fury. And the free kick will go there to... Uh, you see, it'll be Danaher to take the free kick on the centre wing position. So we see the score. 16-16, 112 North Melbourne to the Swans. Four goals, 9-33. Danaher, long kick underneath it. Glenn Dinning and takes it away from the back. Ramsey has been very safe in defence all day. In fact, North Melbourne do this so easily. I think they're not even in top gear. There's Kelly again. I don't care what you say. Someone should be minding him out there. He shouldn't be out there. So he's up. What do you reckon? Five <laughs> kicks. Law onto McCann. It's an exercise in handball. Fury. Uh, not Fury, but Jonas. And the ball uh, beating him over the boundary line. And we'll see it thrown into play. Yes, he's had innumerable possessions in this quarter. Played well in the first half as well. McCann. Really Sorry, starting across that, um, well, the forward line for the Swans, the North defence able to come out and do as they like, and uh, the, the, the Swan forward line are not putting any pressure on whatsoever. Hodgman to Law, up towards Jimmy Cracker, and it's out of bounds. So a throw it in the forward pocket. It's a very lethargic display by the Swans. McCann and Torbett thumped away by Ian Roberts and a chance for Hodgman. Got it kicked away from him eventually. Phil Cracker gives it over to the man in question. Man of the moment, Phil Kelly, but he's hit the post. And so one behind, resulting to the Kangaroos. 16-17, to 4-9-33. Certainly a very uninspiring display by the Swans. 18 and a half minutes of play gone in the third quarter. McCann underneath the ball, picked up by Kelly again. He's everywhere. Almost a mark to Dimitriou. Spins out of the pack well, gives it to Jimmy Cracker. Here's more danger for the Swans. Beautiful balk by Cracker. A flying shot at goal. There's three for only one behind, though. 16-18 to 4-9. 33 to 1-1-4. One, one, Once again, it will be the task of Rod Carter to put the ball back into play once it's been retrieved. Must break his heart kicking out all the time, Bob, because he knows it's going to bounce back pretty quickly. Yes, you wouldn't think they were kicking him with the breeze in this quarter. No, you would not. A short pass from Carter has found Ian Roberts in the back pocket. He's tried hard. Roberts up to centre wing. Waiting down as Hounsell. He's had a dirty day. He was well appointed by Demetrio in the first quarter and was taken off the ground. Back to Roberts. To Danaher, or in fact trying to find Danaher. Keith Gregg is in the road after that errant hand pass. And Keith Gregg runs out of bounds, I do believe, and it will be a boundary throw in at centre wing. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. Keith Gregg on picture there. He's been a fair play today, too, but uh, I can't find a weak horse in the uh, North Melbourne lineup. I don't know about you, Bob. No, when looking at the Rank Arena award, uh, you could toss it up <laughs> between any of the North Melbourne players at the moment. I'd reckon Hodgman gets the ball out now. We see. Uh, a hand pass coming over to Phil Cracker from Demetrio. That was a bit long, that one. This allows Windbanks to take the mark. But as Bob said before, the uh, when the ball goes down to the uh, Swans attacking zone, they, they don't put up any resistance against the North defence. There's a shot for goal by Phil Cracker. Oh, beautiful mark by Jonas. That was a, a real gutsy mark, a courageous mark and a good one. That takes a bit of doing, that sort of marking. Jonas has already kicked two goals. Let's watch that in replay. Jonas running back the wrong way. Look completely out of position in the first place. But a great mark. There's no doubt about Jonas. He's got a bit of class, this fellow. It'll take him a while to settle down after those two broken legs. The shot is right through the middle. 21 and a half minutes gone. 17-18, 120 North Melbourne. The Swan score, four goals, nine, 33. A pathetic score at the moment. There's a chance here for a mark to Braddy. Oh, Glenn Denning's looking a bit disgusted. I wouldn't get too angry. Give him a go, uh, Ross, for heaven's you must sake. Play, you must play the front man in those Yes, cases. of course you should. But he's played a very good game down there in defence. The entire defence of North Melbourne's been outstanding. Braddy started off all right, but like the rest of the Swans, he's faded out of the picture as he fires from about 30 metres out from goal. That's a goal and a badly needed one of the Swans. 
So they move on to uh, five goals, 9.39. To North Melbourne, 17.18, 120. But it's a long way from home yet for this one because you can't see them getting up. It wouldn't matter what they did in the next uh, quarter and a half. No, they've uh, certainly made a few changes as there we see uh, in 1938 the Swans kicked 6 8 44 to be their lowest score ever and they're well, 5 9 39 at the moment so they need one goal I think they'll beat that there's not much uh, doubt about that Law from halfback over towards Hodgman and also Abernethy long handball from the latter up towards Phil Cracker who gets tripped up and the list still gets out the handball played a very good game Phil Cracker so too is his brother back in the senior side today this is Winbacks. Keith Gregg waiting at the back of the pack. Always he does things with a little bit of class. Gregg, Fury. That was touched. Hodgman. It comes down to Bernie Evans at the centre half back position for the Swans. Handball into the open spaces. Dimitri late on the scene. It gives the chance to Scott to pick it up. He gets it back to Evans. Evans to right half forward. Morwood out of bounds. No, still in play. Did appear to be out. Nimmo has the chance, no one to give it to, and handballs it out of bounds subsequently, and it will be thrown in. I didn't think that was out before. And who's that? Is that uh, Hodgman? Yes, it is. Got a whack across the nose, I think, from memory. Braddy and Dempsey. One by Dempsey, over to Andy Dimitriou. Beautiful handball on towards Wayne Schimmelbush. Back it goes to Abernethy, to Shimmer. Caught by Bernie Evans. Up towards Abernethy again. Gets ridden into the ground, but that's a push in the back, though. It pays to play in front. And the 15-metre penalty was pretty sudden death on that, Peter Cameron. North the side to play on, over towards Roy Ramsey. Ramsey from centre field. Looks for Cracker. Windbanks is there. Over to Keith Gregg, who's covering plenty of ground. The boundary umpire and uh, almost caught with the ball between him and the boundary, which is a cardinal sin for those guys. Phil Cracker. A beautiful shot at goal by Phil Cracker, and it's a goal. 25 minutes, 18 goals, 18, 126 North Melbourne to the Swans, 5 9 39. The Swans trying desperately to get this ball down to their four-nine to score goal, but they can't do it because of the strong defence of North Melbourne. Dench at the back, over Baker goes the bunt, backing up well as Ramsey gets it back to Dench. Uh, Dench again, it's a bad kick. Has a go now for the Swans to score, but that's a shocking kick again, and uh, by Danaher and through for one point. So they go to five goals, 10-40. North Melbourne sitting pretty at the moment on 18 goals, 18, 126. The ball back into play again. There's Kelly's on this side of the ground. He got sick of being over the other side now and taking kicks over. He's been a fine player today. Back it goes there to Nimmo. Back to Kelly again. Another hand pass coming out to Simmerbush. A nice one-handed pickup. Where are the Swans at the moment? As they see the ball go to Demetrio. Back it goes to Glenn Denning. Down there from centre half. Back down to half four. A kick up there towards the forward line. It's a bit short to mark here to Ackley. Now he said holding the man. Might have been a bit lucky that time not uh, holding that mark. So Ackley takes that free kick at half back right across the ground. This could be dangerous. Bounces the wrong way for Danaher, but he's right now. Back it goes to Browning. Hasn't been sighted all day. Finally, it goes over to Danaher again. Too long for Torbett. In goes uh, Law. I think he might get a free kick. It was hit a bit too high, and Law will take the free kick at centre field for the uh, for North Melbourne. A short pass out wide and an easy mark taken by McCann. He'd be about uh, 55 metres out from goal. And should love this in the goal square, which he does. It's a long kick. Good at the back. Flies. Got his hands to it. Couldn't hold the mark. Back to Wayne Coles. A box on between uh, Good and uh, Carter down there. Really boxing up as the ball goes back there. And a mark taken here by Roberts. One of their very few good players. To Browning again at half back. Goes for a short pass out wide looking for Brady. But Glenn Denning's far too strong. Takes the mark. Back to Ramsey. They're backing up well. There's Kelly on his own again. But this time Abernathy chips in to take it away from Kelly. But still sends North Melbourne back into attack and a good mark taken out there by Jonas at half forward. A lead made here now to Good in front. Umpire said he was pushed in the back. And he'll take that free kick in the forward pocket about 35 to 40 metres out from goal. Not many good players in the Swans lineup, Robert. It's an understatement. Very hard to find. I think Ian Roberts has tried hard. Carter has. 
and, and I think uh, you know all you can really say is uh, you look for the players that have tried hard because uh, none of them have been winners waiting now on good to put uh, North Melbourne's uh, 19th goal on the board if he's lucky enough there's the kick and it's a pretty good one another goal to North Melbourne so they move on to 19 goals 18 132 points to the Swans five goals 10 40 yes 28 minutes into the uh, the quarter and uh, a dismal quarter and uh, I certainly thought that uh, that Ricky Quaid may uh, be able to, uh, in, you know, instill a little bit of life into the Swans at half time, but in fact it's been the reverse. They have looked even more lethargic, and there's Ricky Quaid right now. 132 to 40. Hounsell putting himself in to get the free kick, and he comes out with it from the Swan centre half forward position. Time on being played in the third quarter. Oh, that's a shocking kick, isn't it? When you're playing golf and you hit the ground and uh, it doesn't go very far at all. Out of bounds, right half forward flank for the Swans. They haven't been into attack very much at all this quarter. North Melbourne giving them a caning at the moment. Can they bounce back next week? Danaher taps it down. Missed by right. Chance for Demetrio. He'd been a very good player for North Melbourne this afternoon. It's the best game I've seen him play. McCann in fine form too. Make a couple of very nice goals. Jonas, the high flyer from the back, actually came down with the ball, but no mark or free oh. kick paid. Jimmy Cracker, five metres out from goal, steers it through for the easiest of possible majors. By golly, that was slick, Bob. Three goals for Jimmy Cracker. That was like Peter Bizasto at uh, VFL Park, wasn't it? Yeah, it's very quick to get onto the scene as we watch it on replay. Stephen McCann putting the high kick in. Jonas, the high flyer from behind, fought the ball down and, uh, well, Cracker. <laughs> Where did he come from? The will of the wisp. <laughs> A but great piece of football, that. And, uh, certainly what you call one touch. And he and Phil Cracker have both been fine players today. We're at the 29 and a half minute mark now of the third quarter. North Melbourne leading by 98 points. Knocked down. He was intending to find Hodgman Dempsey, but Kelly's there instead. Taken away by Browning. Well, in fact, almost as the siren goes for three-quarter time. And uh, a little bit of a box on to try and sort things out as the siren goes. I don't know what started that. Maybe Browning didn't like Hodgman's deodorant or whatever. It's 5-10-40 to 20-18. 138 at the Sydney Cricket Ground. <laughs> 